Hello everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw Hayseed. Okay, so I'm going to make a quick sketch for myself. And then uh, I'll switch over to Sharpie and you'll see what I'm doing. But again, this is mostly for myself, just to make sure that I've got it in the right spot. That I have it how I want to do it. And so I don't fall off the page. That's another big, big uh, reason why I sketch these out. Okay. And plus, uh, a lot of times, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I don't know how, how it's going to look. So I'm just kind of, I, I keep adding lines until it looks right, you know? That's kind of the whole point to sketching. Is, is <laughs> I was gonna say sketch it till you get it right, but that's really the truth, you know? You're gonna keep adding lines until you have it the way you want it, you know? That's the point of sketching, that's the reason you sketch, and that's how you improve, by, by uh, doing it over and over again until it looks right, you know? like here. See, I'm not crazy about what I'm doing here, but I'm just going to keep adding lines until I am. Alright, I think that'll work for that boot. Um, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to think of a good pose for him. And I think I'm going to have him kind of a little, a little defiant, a little proud uh, about his hay. So I'm going to Draw a big bulgy arm up here. I think I'm gonna have have a fist up like this, you know. So let's do, uh, let's see, some knuckles like this, and then a thumb like that. And by doing that, we're gonna kind of get away with with drawing less because all this is behind that arm, so uh, we can kind of. Uh, hide the rest of them like that. Okay. And I just gotta make sure I... But in doing that, you do gotta make sure you give them enough uh, detail. Um, because just because you're hiding stuff doesn't mean you're hiding how to draw it. You gotta show what you're doing, you know? That's important. Okay. There's one arm. I'm gonna come over here and draw this other one. Again, I think I'm going to do this one exactly the same, but off to the side. Okay, so there's that bicep, and then it's going to be up like this. So his elbow is going to be about right there. And see, that's what I'm doing. I'm just sketching until I get it in the right spot, you know? I don't know what I'm doing. I have an idea, but uh, I just got to keep drawing until I get it right. Okay, I think I'm good with that. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, he's got. Yeah, see, there's not too much I got to worry about over here because it's covered up. Okay, and uh, I do got to make sure I add his his uh, knee protectors here. Everybody has them in Fortnite for some reason, and so I got to make sure I put them in. Then his lace protectors. I'm not too sure what these are. I'll get back to that while I'm while I'm sketching, but uh, something into their design that I'm not going to knock the designers. They're the one who did it. They're getting paid to do this, right? So uh, it's just strange some of these choices they made, like these leg straps. What are they strapping in? I don't know, but they draw them, so we're going to draw them too. All right, so let me uh, finish up his face. I'm going to give him a nice strong chin, nice strong. Uh, uh, neck and uh, let's see his ears are gonna be like that which means his eyes will be right around here and uh, the other tricky part is what I'm going to add in because um, oh you know what that's kind of funny I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna make him smiling he's all super happy and when you do that your uh, your eyes close you know so I'm going to uh, make him smiling I'll make him happy and uh, That'll, that'll also uh, uh, um, hide all the stuff we got to do. Okay. 
so we don't have to draw his eyes or any of that stuff you know we just uh, give him a smile okay so let me finish his hat real fast and his hat's a little tricky because uh, it's it's ripped apart and we don't have time to do all this detail so we're just gonna kind of fake it and uh, and not worry about the detail inside of there because uh, it's almost a little too much to draw you know and let's see what is in his head a chick okay I see that now <laughs> all right I'm glad I zoomed in because uh, he's got a little it looks like a duck I would imagine it should be a chicken right because he's on the farm but uh, you know who am I to judge all right okay so I think I'm good there and I can uh, get started I'm gonna switch over to Sharpies you're welcome to use a pencil if you'd like but I'm gonna use a fine point Sharpie which is a bit thicker and a Sharpie pen so let's use a Sharpie pen first I'm going to and just draw some of the finer details that I can't control with uh, the Sharpie pen so see I'm just gonna draw some happy squinty eyes because he's happy all right and give him some eyebrows like that and draw just a little bit of the nose not too much because uh, this is too small of a drawing so we can't get a lot of detail in here so let's draw his mustache like that which is going to define the smile like this draw the other half like that and we can draw what we can see of his mouth like this again we can't do too much because it's a tiny little uh, drawing for that detail you know so let's go ahead and continue over here let's draw the side of his face to his jaw and I got his jaw super wide and thick because he's a big strong farmer draw his neck like that just to continue and I know where I'm going so I'm going to draw his ears like that there's not too much we got to do because again we can't see a lot of detail in this all right I'm going to thicken that up because I'm about to come in with a, a big sharpie and it's going to look funny if I if I don't so again I'm going to draw the rest of his uh, um, head I guess his jaw thank you uh, over here like this. Ooh, my Sharpie's running out. I'm going to have to get another one. I'm going to draw his ear like this. Alright. Thicken it up just a little bit, and then I'm going to switch over. Okay, I'm going to switch over to the big Sharpie now. Alright, so for his hat, I'm just going to, you know, give him the top of the brow. Uh, but I'm going to kind of do something like this just because he's got you know uh, it's got texture to it you know which is something like this just to uh, indicate that they're it's not smooth that's what we're going for that's what I was trying to tell you earlier we're trying to just gonna trick it okay so I'm gonna draw the bottom of the hat like this gonna come up and just draw something like this okay and again I'm just kind of making this up just because I know it's a straw hat and I'm kind of showing it that it's beat up you know kind of ripped apart okay I mean you'd think uh, he'd want to get another one but uh, you know hey I guess not I, not my hat I'm not a farmer maybe they like these hats Maybe it, it looks good to be beat up like that. So I'm just kind of making this up because I know that it's a crisscross matched pattern. And I'm just kind of doing something like that just to, you know, uh, give it that look. Connect it up like this. Then I'm going to draw the top of the hat. Because that part is normal. But then on top, he's got busting out of his hat um, an animal. And I think it's a duck. But... Uh, um, I would assume it's, it, it's supposed to be a chicken, a little chick, a little chick OD. I'm going to draw the beak like this. And I'm using the, the sharper Sharpie again to control a little bit more. Draw the mouth. 
and then I'm gonna draw the top of the head. It's got a little point on it and just comes down like that. And that's all. And it's got a little eyeball. Like that. Little little chick popping out of his head. Okay, cool. Let's keep going. So uh, let's draw his collar because that's the next thing that's in front and that'll help us define a few things. So I'm gonna come down like this. And I'm gonna come up like that for the collar. And I need to close out his neck like this, draw an undershirt, and come like this with the collar. And we can draw the other one like that. And so I'm going to bring this one over here like that. And again, now I can build off of that. So I like to draw the stuff in front first because it, it lets me build off everything else. So he's got overalls here, so I'm going to just kind of connect these and kind of do something like that. And I can draw off this. So now. I'm going to draw off his shoulders, like this, and I can draw everything else underneath. So let's draw his uh, pants, uh, and then we'll come back up to his arms, because these are in front, okay? So I'm going to come in here like this, come in, draw where his belt is going to be, and let's go ahead and do the belt, and that'll help us define a few more things. So let's do his, his traditional Fortnite belt like this okay and uh, let's draw his overalls okay so since we have that I guess we can do the top half we don't have to go work all the way down to the bottom let's go ahead and, and do uh, his arms here. So this fist is in front it's it's first so I'm gonna draw that first okay so I'm gonna draw his finger like this and then build off of that so the knuckle so you have a finger then a knuckle finger knuckle so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to draw the next finger down draw the knuckle okay next finger knuckle last one pinky close it off like that okay and the thumb is in front on top like that so we're just going to do that and uh, kind of connect it there, do this, that meaty part of the hand, and that's pretty much it. You can add like more lines to try to say, okay, well, it, it's it's like this, you know, where his fingers are, are bent. But, you know, we don't have to go too crazy. We, we get the idea, right? But he is wearing gloves, so that's why I was just kind of drawing to something a little bit extra, you know? Uh, okay, so let's finish this off. Let's move to his forearm, which is back behind it like that, because you can't see much since it's all... Uh, uh, um, uh, in perspective and that's like the edge of his glove which is right there but drawing like that it's like hidden inside there so now that I have that I can draw the rest of his arm and I'm going to draw his sleeve like this which is kind of all uh, creased over and then just draw some uh, folds which I love drawing folds okay then his chest or his, his uh, back like that and let's do this other one here. So I'm going to draw, again, some folds. Like this. So I'm going to draw the rest of his bicep like this. It's going to curl into his forearm. And he's got gloves on, so I'm drawing that edge down to his elbow. Connect to here like that. Pretty simple, right? And so let's draw this hand. And the same thing, we're going to have a defiant, but up to the side, okay? So he's going to have his gloves on, so that's what that little thing is there. So we're going to draw the side of his hand, that right there, into the pinky, which I'm just going to kind of do like this. And so now that that's built, we can uh, draw the rest of it. So his thumb's going to be over it like that. And we'll go ahead and draw a few more lines, and that's it. The rest of the fingers are kind of back behind, so you can't really draw too much more. So booyah, we're done with that. So now we can move down to his legs and his pants. So, his crotch is right about there. I'm going to do something like that down to there. Because that's where his uh, knee protectors are going to be. Okay? And that's where he's got those straps on I was telling you about that. I, I don't get it. Don't know why they're there, but we're going to keep drawing. So, I'm going to draw the back of his leg like this. And I'm drawing these bumps. He's stair-stepping for those straps. And uh, I'll explain why in a second. Okay? So... I'll explain why now. So the straps in his leg are kind of pulling his pants in a little tighter. So I like to draw like that to show that, that uh, yeah, it's it's uh, tight on the pants. So it's, it's binding them in, so to speak. 
Okay. I just like to do it. It's just a fun little detail that 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 I like. Okay. So let's do the other one down to this uh, shin protector here. So the other one. Let's draw the other leg down to the shin protector here like this. Down to the knee to the shin protector like that, which is kind of coming off. So uh, I'm going to draw the back of the pants like this. And then uh, his... his it, okay, L let's talk about this. So they've got like these shin protector things that uh, are coming off the shins. It's weird, but cool. It's cool at the same time. So this side is strapped on. This one, like wrapped around, this one is attached. Strange, but you know, it's an odd choice, but I guess they did it to break up the monotony so it's not uh, the same on each one, right? So the reason they're floating like that is this one uh, is like this underneath these straps that go all the way around, right? So I'm just going to kind of do something like this to close it off. Now this one uh, is it, it's attached on the side of it. So I'm going to come down like this, come out like that, and then go in, and that's where it's attached. So it doesn't strap all the way around like that one. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm going way too much into detail, but I just find it fascinating that they do strange things like that because they're the artists and they decide what's what. And uh, I just think it's really strange, but... Uh, Artistic. I guess that's the best way to put it. All right, so I'm going to draw the back of his leg down to his boot like that. And here we go with the, the other strange things. They all have these weird shin protectors. Or, sorry, shoe protectors, like lace protectors. Uh, you know, it's just a design, but, you know, it's just, it's kind of strange. Because they don't get used, you know? So, okay, so I'm sorry, I'm talking over the drawing. So, I'm going to draw the shoe of the boot like this. There's the toe. I already drew that toe, so I'm going to connect it like that. So now I'm going to draw just some treads. You know, and it's not specific. I just kind of draw something like that, like a stair step little thing, just to give it that look. You know, it doesn't have to be very, very detailed or specific, you know. So I'm just going to add a few more things here, just, uh, just some details of his pants. And I like to draw creases and folds. It's like my thing. And I just do it just for, you know, just to show that there's, it's material, you know? It's, uh, it's not hard edged like that. Ooh, these kind of have a hard edge too. I'm going to kind of do something like this. Just to give it, uh, that little, uh, extra something, you know? Just something like that, you know, just to have a little fun. And uh, he does have some hay hanging off like that. Um, I'm going to do the other ones in color, but uh, there's some that are sticking off, and I don't know. I just kind of like it, so I'm going to add extra like that, just 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 to make him happy. Okay, so yeah, I'll take care of the the, the coloring with the rest. Take care of the rest with coloring. So for now, that is hayseed. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.